Hello there, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my Horizon Zero Dawn full playthrough on the PlayStation 5. We are playing on ultra hard difficulty. And I'm not sure what part or episode this is. I think it's part six. I hope I'm right. I'll check, guys. It's, it's been a couple of days since I played last. <laughs> anyway, anyway, we're now ready to do the main quest. And that's, well, talk to Rust at Mother's Heart. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, guys, also, just to get you up to speed, I've been doing a ton of farming. Like a metric crap ton of farming. Now, what I've been farming for is really just to practice my aim. Because I'm not very good at shooters, guys. <laughs> I've already explained that. So I'm not very good. So I need to keep practicing. And I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. So it's pretty tough. I'm not going to lie to you. Anyway, so I got this skill here called Strike From Above. As you can see, we're actually at level 10 now. And um, that's just me hunting loads and loads of um, machines. Striders, scrappers are really good for XP. And I had to upgrade my, you know, resources and carry capacity, etc. So anyway, somebody in the comments said to get this skill, Strike From Above. I'll be honest with you guys, I've only used this once. Uh, sorry, I've been practicing with it. But it's very difficult to pull this off. Um, maybe I'm just not doing it correctly, but I'll keep practicing regardless. Also, check this out. <laughs> I got Herbalist, um, which doubles the capacity of the medicine pouch. So I got that. Also, I got Gatherer. Now, Gatherer, I'm not sure how this works. It says additional natural resources when foraging. I thought it will give me more medicine. But I don't think it does, but it, it could be me. Again, I just need a bit more um, time with the game. But um, anyway, so we're now going to do this quest here. Mother's Heart, main quest. And now cast since birth, Aloy has never been allowed inside the walls of the Nora capital until tonight's annual fee, uh, festival Sorry, on the eve of the Proving. Talk to Rost. He'll be waiting for you in her mother's heart. And that's 2,000 XP and one skill point. Fantastic. <laughs> and also, guys, I want to show you something as well. One last thing. You know, you guys have been telling me to kill a lot of animals, right? I think I figured out why. It's so that I can upgrade... Sorry, let me show you. I can get potions. You see where it says rich meat, fatty meat, etc. So I guess I can craft some... How much is full health? Uh, it's a bit expensive, but let's let's get it, guys. I'm sure this will be worth it. I'm going to do about two of them for now. This caught my eye. Health boost potion. I have never I, um, never used this. I have no idea how this works. So let's try it. Let's do about... Let's do three as well. And what about normal health? Two rich meat and three fatty meat. Um, let's do... Let's get that all the way to the top. And in fact, how much is this again? That's expensive, guys. <laughs> um, okay, let's leave it there for now. Let's do six health potions, health boost potion. And um, let's just see how we get on. Wait, what's this? Resist potion? Oh, I, guys, I didn't even know about this. Um, right, resist fire potion. 75% fire damage resistance. Let's get this. Um... Yeah, I've got I've got the resources for this, so let's do let's do three of those. Resist shock. <laughs> All right, sure, let's do it. Let's do one, two, three. And what about this? Okay, freeze rhyme. One, two, and yeah, that's it. That's all I've got now. I don't know what this means. Antidote corruption. A hundred percent corruption. Resistance for sixty seconds. What is this? Seventy-five. Okay. All right, let's do. Yeah, let's do about three of them, I guess. All right, looking good. So that's the update. But look at my health, um, the medicine pouch. It's insane. <laughs> so that's pretty good. All right, guys, let's see what this is. Um, unfortunately, I had to use a lot of shards because, you know, when I was um, crafting the resource pouch, guys, it costs so much. 
Um, it was like 75 shards, so it was a little bit ripped off there. Anyway, here's Rost. What's up, dude? I haven't, I haven't seen Rost in a long time. I've just been busy doing other things. So, it's time. Are you ready? Not yet. <laughs> no, let's do it, guys. Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Um, okay. Alright, any last advice? Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. Guys, I hope um, he's not going to leave. I have this weird feeling he's going to go, but we'll, we'll see. What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs, a center of Nora life, a jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it, as I was, back when I was at the tribe. Why were you outcast, though, Rost? I wish he could tell us, man. Maybe we'll find out later, I don't know. Are you sure they're gonna let me in? <laughs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. They better do. <laughs> all right, I'm all set. Let's do it. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Take this to remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back it's my wish that you embrace the tribe you've lived in isolation long enough Not until now i didn't for your sake i must go where you will never find me this this is goodbye oh man guys that's sad Good riddance. <laughs> Who the hell in their right mind would choose that or choose that as a choice? I understand. I don't really understand. And to be honest, this outcast bullshit is really annoying. They need to stop stop all that. Anyway, but I will find you. I'm not gonna say this, then good riddance. Jesus Christ. Um, I understand. Let's do this one, but I will find you. No. It's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you, Eloy. And you. First, the proving. Wow. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. He'll be back. <laughs> we'll see him again, I'm sure. But I'm not going to lie, guys. That was sad. Anyway. 
I hope we see him again. Whoa. Oh, okay. Can't see him. You will turn back, outcast. Sorry? Or bleed. Your choice. <laughs> Suck a dick. <laughs> Aloy, let's kill him. Make way. Make way. Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? <laughs> I was just about to say that. What is going on? <laughs> uh, this looks very vibrant. Very nice, isn't it? Uh, Tirsa, she was really nice to us. I remember the, um, you know, the pre-game cutscene. And she was very nice to Ross and Aloy. Aloy was a baby. And there was this horrible bitch of an old woman. I don't remember her name. I don't even know if I know, want to know her name. But um, she was very mean to us. By the way, guys... Karja, that's familiar. What is that? Why is that familiar? Right, I've got this, a Karja hunter bow. And I think, I think Karja are in Forbidden West. Anyway, let's have a look around, guys. This looks uh, kind of cool. <laughs> oh, sorry, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> this brings me back. <laughs> All right, whatever you say, pal. All right, let's have a look around, I guess. Oh, supply crate. Let's get it. Nice. And I do need metal shards, guys. All right, let's start again from here. So we're right at the beginning. Oh, there's a thing here. Let's um, let's check that out. Okay, so we've saved. Guys, there's another um, training dummy. Do I actually break these? <laughs> Alright, whatever. Okay. There's another loot there. No, it's another training dummy. Oh, I won't bother with that. I don't really care. Okay. Right, who are you? Oh, Teb. That's the dude in part one. That boy. And what's this? Alright. Oh, okay. I don't apologize. <laughs> All right, anything happening or just warming our hands? Interesting. <laughs> okay, whatever. All right, is there any more supply boxes? It has to be. Jerks about done themselves this year. Ah, oh, there is. All right, I'll get that in a minute. Let's go and speak to Ted. Walk past. What's you, up, dude? All right, let's let's talk to him. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly. Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. Fashion designer. <laughs> in preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider it the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. That's awesome. Oh, okay. All right. Um, what's this treasure box? What? What the hell is this? 
a Bannock Traveler token. Oh, maybe I get this as part of the complete edition. Guys, let's, let's use them. Why not? If it's letting me do it, why not? And that as well. Okay, I'll have a look at those afterwards. All right, and as I've been told by a friend of mine who really wanted me to play this game, she was telling me if I buy anything, I need to lower the difficulty, otherwise I'll be paying extortionate prices. However, having said that, for now, I'll just get this one because it's free of charge. Why not? Right, Nora Brave. A new Nora Brave's armor stitched by Teb, accentuated by Aloy's own designs, offers no extra protection but can be upgraded. Oh, I'll take it. Whatever. Uh, equip. Yeah, I want to equip it. Alright. Do I want to sell anything? And I don't even know what to sell as well. Guys, you need to help me in the comments. I, I don't know what needs to be sold or not. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even know where to start. Okay, we'll leave it for now. Seems to fit you perfectly. Uh, thank you, Tab. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe. Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Why? Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. <laughs> okay. Uh, guys, I also... Listen, I noticed something as well. This... Okay, I can put a modification. I was wondering what... Oh, I can't do it from here. God damn it. Um, how do I do this? Right, it has to be this. Right, empty slot. This slot can be filled with a modification item. Modifications can be obtained from hunting machines or by trading with merchants. I, I don't know. What, what do I want to put in here? Resist freeze. So we're going to encounter enemies that can use, um, I don't know, frost against us. Corruption. I don't know what that is. Stealth weave. Guys, I don't know, man. I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay, let's leave it for now. At least I know there's a an option for that. And I need to do something about this. Alright, this won't be won't take long. Is there anything I can replace that with? Fire coil. Handling? Oh, okay. All right, wait, if I put handling in here. <laughs> Guys, I don't know. I look, I'm a newbie to this, so let's, let's just give it a try. All right, let's move on. All right, there's some singing over there, but I really want to get the supply thing. Give me a sec. Let's cut through here, guys. There it is. Check it out. Right, nine shards. Is there any more? There has to be more. <laughs> There's another one there. Okay, I'll get that in a sec. Alright, let's go through this way. That's where Teb is. Let's see what's happening here. I like it. This is awesome, guys. This must be very overwhelming for Aloy. She's not seen anything like this, has she? Aloy looks really happy. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. That was, oh, she does like it. Good. <laughs> All right, excellent. Now, where's our supply crate? 
Alright, it's over there, so we'll work our way down there. Oh, hello. Do you want to speak to me? <laughs> Alright, there's another thing here. Oh, nothing. Alright, anyway. Alright, let's just grab that real quick. Oh, it's on a roof. What? Why do you have to go climbing houses? Oh, like not supposed to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? Mother's hands, <laughs> what? Get down from there, ah, now! Oh, that's the just what you last. want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head! What I want is for you to climb down! What? What? <laughs> you want is for me to have no fun at all! <laughs> Fine! <laughs> Stay up on the roof all night if you want! Yeah, I will! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> every year this happens, every year. At least he's That's actually to run a brave trail. That's actually pretty funny, guys. Okay, where is this um supply box? Here we are. Okay, grab that. 29, excellent. Matter one. Alright, I think we need to go up there, guys. Okay. All right, let's go. Can't see anything else. Last year's festival was better. Every you have to tell this when I'm gone. To do. In the beginning, so far. all life came from all mother. People, machines, and beasts, all were her children. They lived alongside each other in the comfort of her wild embrace. But some grew restless. Though they took of her bounty, they wanted more. These were the Faithless. The machines had whispered to them, promised to serve them, to make them a new world, better than the one All Mother provided. A world of metal. They told the Faithless they would do all the work for them. Feed them, shelter them, give them a life of ease, of plenty. And so, the Faithless left with the machines. Only the true children, the mothers and fathers of the Nora, stayed with All Mother. At first, the machines did as they had promised. They built cities, great and terrible, monuments to their sins. But they would not serve the Faithless for long. A king rose up among the machines, a machine more powerful than any other. The Metal Devil. And then, the Faithless served him, served the machines. That was not enough for the Metal Devil. He wanted all to serve him, and tried to tempt the true children away from All Mother. They would not go. They gathered on the mountainside to cling to her, and prayed, more devoted than ever. The Metal Devil raged louder than thunder. In his fury, he came to confront All Mother, intending to kill her. She struck him down. Forever. As you know, for his lifeless body is up there still. Frozen in shame and defeat. The machines were driven mad by the death of their king. And their minds became as wild as beasts. The Faithless abandoned their cities forced to wander the world without the care of the machines. Only we remain the true children of All Mother. We built all this with the hands that she gave us. Machines are to be hunted. Metal to be used for scrap, for craft. But never to be adored. And we stay true to her laws, resolute in our prayers, don't we? For the dangers are never over. Still, the Faithless envy our sacred land and covet it. And year upon year, the machine's anger grows, searching for little Nora boys and girls who have not behaved. <gasps> what? Is that a machine among us now? <laughs> no, no. These old eyes are mistaken. Listen carefully now. That was awesome. For you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. <laughs> Guys, 
So the metal devil is that gigantic squid thing that's in the distance. That's insane. You say the festival was better last year or the year before last. Nonsense. Wild embrace. Okay, dude. All right. Anyway, just quick scan. That was really interesting. Though. I really enjoyed that. That story. Perhaps the carja has come to make a mess. The machines have to them. All right. Where are we going? Oh. Oh, hey, dude. Karst, what are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting <laughs> for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks on some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. Guys, I hope I, <laughs> I hope I do win. But um, anyway, why did you come? So, mother's heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't <laughs> hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. All right, let's see what he's selling. All sales are final. If it breaks, you're out of luck. Whoa, he sells quite a lot of stuff. What about our... Okay, one thing at a time. What's this? Right, sling. Uh, the slow-firing sling lobs elemental bombs with large area of effect. Best used to inflict elemental states on targets, making them vulnerable to follow-up attacks, can be modified. Rope caster. As you can see, I don't have the money for it. However, guys, let's test this thing. Take your shards. All right. Well, I didn't actually sell him anything, but whatever. Right, so I'm now going to lower the difficulty. I don't know. Let's put it on hard. Let's see what All the prices right, are. Let's do this. Okay, what's the... Oh, my God. It's so much. Gee, guys, that's ridiculous. See, I know why my friend said that to me. She was saying, listen, you must lower the difficulty because it's unreal how expensive these things are. So, um... All right, so when I purchase stuff... That's when I load a difficulty. All right, I won't worry about all this Good now, luck. though. Let's not worry about this now. Let's uh, put this back on ultra hard. I'm sure we can come back if I do want to buy anything, right? Okay, let's have a look. Any more supply boxes? Yes, look, check it out, guys. Oh, crap, I have to go over that. One sec, one sec. What the... Okay, I don't want to miss anything. However, let's grab these. And another one. Check it out. Oh, I love hidden loot. Modification, but what are these? 62 shards. Guys, I'm rich. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, any more? No. Okay, let's go and see what's happening here. Mother forget them and all their worthless deeds. All right, cut In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the hand slavers. of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers and Slavers! Hey, hey! Luminance of Hold us. your fruit, Nora, oh. Nora Faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! 
message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude. <laughs> King Avad, 14th What's happening? of the Radiant Line. He oh my God. What the hell? Profaning the unknown device detected. Possibly a focus. A focus? Are you serious? Another one. He's wearing a focus. Just like mine. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What the hell? Uh, apologies. Ah, uh, malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait! No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey! <laughs> you got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half... Drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense. It looks great on you. <laughs> uh, by the way, guys, I vaguely remember him when I played... Uh, well, I only played like two or three hours of um, Horizon Forbidden West. I actually remember seeing him, but I, I don't remember him much. Anyway, quite a speech. I thought your friend was going to go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids, and who can blame them? Um, okay, questions, nice armor. Okay, let's do nice armor. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Now let me introduce you. Ring locked. Impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. Oh, I want it. It has to be. The vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. It might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. Okay. Uh, Olin? What else do you know about Olin? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. <laughs> well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. Um, it's given me the choice to ask about Olin again. <laughs> Tell me about Olin again. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly what? the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. Oh, he's Jesus. All right, we'll skip that. It just gave me the option to ask again, guys. So let's do questions. I wanted to ask you something else. Hey, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. Should we do that, guys? We'll talk to him afterwards. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. Actually, I don't want to ask you anything. We're going to talk later, guys. I should go to the blessing. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable. And, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. 
I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! Captured, yes. Killed, no. That takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire Vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? I won't let the cup <laughs> <laughs> so his name's Aaron. He was proper shooting a shot with Aloy, wasn't he? <laughs> All right, any supply thingies? Oh, uh, sh should I speak? To oh, never mind, guys. Let's um, let's go to the blessing ceremony. Actually, I'm eager to push this forward a little bit. Where do I go? I won't let the cart anyway, besides, that was very interesting regarding those raids. I don't know, some king. Oh, there's our dude. <laughs> Errand. <laughs> yeah, there's some mad king or something. But I need to know more, guys. What the hell's happening here? Alright. Uh, do I go here? Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. She's really nice, this lady. Oh, God's sake. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light it's flame. Oh, I can say a prayer for my mother. Aloy doesn't know her mother. I'd like to know for myself. Let's do for Rost. I think that's more fitting. We're going to see him again anyway, I'm sure. In honor of Rost. And all he did to help me get here. All mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. That's beautiful. <laughs> That's so nice, guys. It's for the goddess to judge the Karja, not me. There's Owen. The past should be I have some questions for him. Where? Who are they? <laughs> okay, um, who's Olin? Where, where's Olin? Irid? Olin, okay, fine. And who are you? That's Eren. We need to speak to him again. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, Tessa. Um, this is the one that's really nice to us. Aloy, now that the blessing has been made, you and I finally have a moment to speak. I hope the ceremony wasn't too unpleasant for you, given your circumstances. <laughs> I don't know. What shall I say? I hated it. Well, I found it beautiful. I did. I'm just going to be honest. I can't say it was comfortable, but I could see the beauty of the ritual, even so. It takes a generous heart, Aloy, to commend a ritual that venerates all that you were denied. All I'm saying is that it didn't bother me. I have bigger things to worry about than hearing the Nora mumble about their mothers. I see. <laughs> I imagine you must have questions for me then. Aloy's hilarious. <laughs> anyway, outcast. <laughs> She's so snarky, it's unreal. I love it. Okay, outcasts and approving. It surprises me the tribe lets outcasts run in the proving. It's not like the Nora to be so hospitable. It has always been law that any child outcast has this right, as a means to rejoin the tribe. So far as I know, however, you are the first ever to exercise this right. I'm not surprised. I doubt many outcast children survive long enough in the wilds to come of age. I think, rather, it is because child outcasts are so rare. In all my years, I've only known of one other child who was cast out. 
a boy of 13, who killed his mother. Oh, but gosh. But proving five years later, he did not appear. No. I'd be surprised if he survived very long on his own. But at least he had a chance. Other tribes would have simply executed him. It may be hard for you to accept, Aloy. But the practice of shunning is, relatively speaking, humane. No, it's not. Try it out for 18 years, Tirsa, and then let me know what you think. Oh, good answer. I was going to say, that's just bloody cruel, man. Anyway, why was I... Yes, why was I cast out? Why was I made an outcast at birth, Tirsa? What crime could I have committed even before I was born? Aloy, this is not a question I can answer. Oh, of course. Why not? It's simple enough. And what about my mother? Is she here tonight, watching me? Or is she dead? Is she here? Or nowhere? I am sure your mother is here with us. If only in spirit. <laughs> That's not really an answer, is it? Just so you know, Tirsa, the reason I'm here is to get answers. Real ones. And when I win the proving, I will demand them. I know, Aloy. I would expect nothing less. Rost, okay. What about Rost? Why was he made an outcast? So, he never told you? He said he swore an oath never to speak of it. Yes. As did I, and the other matriarchs. I'm sorry, Aloy. But Rost's past is another secret I must keep from you. What else is new? <laughs> yeah, I feel... Uh, that. Yeah, that's bullshit, man. Anyway, I'm sure we'll find out later, I hope. Anyway, matriarchs. Ross told me that matriarchs don't just lead the tribe. What else do you do? We teach, offer counsel, give blessings. When necessary, we judge. Our only concern is the welfare of the tribe. Among our number this year, we count three high matriarchs and some 30 lesser matriarchs. What's the difference? Matriarchs are grandmothers with two generations of living progeny. But a high matriarch is a great-grandmother with three or more generations to her name. Thus do we speak for generations, lending our opinions weight. The high matriarchs most of all. So, the more children you have, the more authority you get? I guess that's one way to decide who leads a tribe. Why would there be any other? <laughs> Yeah, uh, I was going to say, there's this lady, now, now I know her name, Lanzara. I hate her, she's so nasty. Why does Lanzara hate me so much? She is a woman of extreme opinions. She's a bitch. More than that, <laughs> I say. It's not my fault that I was born, or that the matriarchs decided to cast me out. I side with you in this matter, but there are differences of opinion, and any vote of the high matriarchs requires a majority. Oh, there's nothing else. Oh, man, I really wanted to know about Rost and why Aloy was cast out as a baby. Anyway, goodbye. I should be going. I'm sorry if I've been too harsh. It's just, I've wanted answers for so long. I know, child. You're not the only one who's waited years for this day. I will be praying for your success. Well, thank you. Okay, so let me just check. So we've got Erend, uh, this dude Irid. Is there anyone else? Okay, so I'll leave Olin for last. Let's speak to Erend. That blessing wasn't bad. Nice and short, anyway. But I know a half dozen Asaram tinkers who could put on a better fireworks show. Oops. I hope I'm not throwing a wet blanket on your sacred ritual. It was nice, really. All right, um, we need to talk. Okay, we've already spoken to about armor, etc. Questions, red raids, and Kaja. Okay. I never heard anything about red raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was in war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? No. 
Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. Okay. All right, yeah, I want to know more about the derangement, however. So what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. Together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. <laughs> awesome. I'd like to visit. Okay, Osram Freebooters. Who are the Osram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things. Arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries. You know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. Osram seem like badasses. <laughs> All right, derangement? You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, I'm sorry, I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous. So long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth? Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? Uh, no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. That's crazy. I wonder why that's happening. Okay, it's, do it's giving me the option to do that again, but I'm not gonna... Yeah, we'll select this one, the Karja. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. But take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. All right, Meridian? Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Oh. Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. <laughs> I really want to go there. All right. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. No, we don't, Aloy. I'm sorry. We need to go. <laughs> yeah, well, good luck in that proving thing. Uh, maybe I'll see you in Meridian someday. Who knows? All right, awesome. Who the hell are you? <laughs> okay. All right, we can't talk to her. Right, this dude. Your blessing was most illuminating. I've never seen its like. A rare gift, indeed. But you don't believe in all mother, do you? Usually the, the distance between our tribes shrouds Nora ways from Karja eyes. But here among you, I see a beauty that shines true. Perhaps Naman is right after all, that the sun's light brightens all lands and all peoples. Who's Naman? One of my brethren who believes the sky is wide enough for the faiths of all tribes. All right. 
Uh, by the way, guys, sorry, but maybe I should have said this earlier, but I didn't know. If you want to skip ahead, I do leave things in timestamps. So if you don't want to see all this, I want to see it because it's my first time seeing all this, yeah? So if you want to forward it, feel free. Who is the Sun King you speak for? His luminance, Avad, is the 14th King of the Radiant Line. His light envelops the sky and everything beneath it. He is the Chosen of the Sun. By his divine rule, we are given sight and purpose. You speak highly of him. Do you know him well? By his nature, he is unknowable and infallible. We are his instruments, not his companions. I have been in his presence, but we draw down our hoods so as not to behold his light directly. He's the sun, he has total power, and no friends. That couldn't go wrong. <laughs> um... Okay, what's this? If your Sun Kings are so infallible, how do you explain the crimes of the last king? Oh, uh, well, good question. The sun's glory is a great and brazen crown for a vessel as small as a man. If the vessel is flawed, indeed in the burial caves, one can see the skulls of the past kings are cracked, trialed and fired in the sun's kiln. That can be too much for any man to bear, even a ruler of men. So the sun can make bad choices like anyone else. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> Has there ever been a sun queen? Uh, many wives and consorts, of course. Or, oh, you mean for the sun to choose a queen. <laughs> this has not happened. Why not? The sun is masculine, of course, and, and so would choose its heirs thus. Um, it's a light in the sky. I've never seen anything dangling from it. I don't know if you've noticed, but women run things around here. <laughs> well, Avad took a woman as captain of his vanguard, the first to hold such an honor. You mean Aaron's sister, Ursa. From what he told me, she sounds formidable. Oh, formidable indeed. A woman and an outsider as well. She might make a fine sun queen, given a chance. A sun queen? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No. <laughs> um, guys, this is great. I'm really enjoying this. And Aloy's personality's really grown on me a lot. She's awesome. Um, anyway, who are you? <laughs> Sun priest. I am the Reverend Ereed. The glory of the Karja is the sun's glory, reflected. We sun priests are but glimmers of its great light. You just said a lot, but you didn't tell me anything. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> My duty is to carry out the will of the sun by serving its emissary among us, the Sun King. I comfort those who walk by the light of day, and I travel to those in far reaches whom the light barely touches, bearing warmth. Um, I swear we already asked him about this. So you live in Meridian? I do. Where better to mark the sun's divine passage than where the sandstone glows in the light of its passing? I was raised in the Mesa's great shade, its wild bird markets and metal cellars, spices and colored silks. Sounds impressive. Oh, you should behold it. And you can, if you make the journey. At his luminance's order, we have flung its gates open to all. Any Nora who leaves the sacred land becomes an exile. But hey, who knows where I'll end up. <laughs> Did you come all this way just to deliver your Sun King's speech? It is my duty, and also my honor, to carry the light of atonement to those we overshadowed and wronged. I swallowed my fear, but it re-emerged. I am glad Erend Van Guardsman made this journey. He is my shield, a good man. All right, a war with the Nora. Why were the Karja at war with the Nora? Under the 13th Sun King, the Karja had no peace with any tribe. His luminance has sent those days to dusk. We must renew the light that binds us, though few volunteered to come here. The Nora scare you. They're good at making people feel unwelcome. It's said one soldier died for every Nora taken alive. But <laughs> I see you can be as calm as you are fierce. I think that's it. Okay, cool. Let's leave. This has been illuminating, but I should get going. 
You have already been blessed, but may the dawn find you, the day warm you, and the dusk have light to guide your path. Oh, that's very nice of him. Okay, let's talk to this dude. And he's got a focus. Hey, I can't talk to him. Oh, okay. Hello, Owen. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Yeah. It's been his festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. <coughs> Bullshit. <laughs> All right. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. Jesus. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. He's... Yeah, I was gonna say, he's lying. Anyway. You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. Fire and spit, girl. <laughs> I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me? That's your trouble, not mine. <laughs> I don't know what his deal is, guys. I don't trust him. But anyway. What are you doing here, Owen? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the king's court. That's all. Okay, doesn't seem like there's anything else to talk to him about. Okay, let's go. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need the bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> what does he mean by that? Dude, <laughs> look, I don't know what his deal is, but it's weird. I don't trust him. However, Aaron trusts him for some reason. Oh, anyway, I don't overthink. Anyway, is there any more loot? Oh, who are you? Oh, Lanza, that's a stupid bitch. I'm not going to talk to her. Who are you? Jezza. All right, there doesn't seem to be any supply boxes. Let's just go enter the Hunter's Lodge. Okay. We'll do that. So guys, we didn't get any answers. I was really eager to do this quest because I thought we'll find out why, you know, Aloy is an outcast, why Rust is an outcast, and we didn't get any answers. So I'm a little bit pissed off. Anyway. <laughs> oh, cutscene. Motherless chuff. Fuck you, Jesus. Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Stab him, Aloy. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You were, you were afraid? <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> Uh, guys, he kind of looks like a Obama a little bit. <laughs> the motherless outcast. Oh, what now? I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. Holy shit, that's our kid. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. 
You're kidding. So this is the kid that we... Oh, you piece of shit. Oh, do we fight him? Talking with the outsiders. Couldn't convince them to take you either, huh? Wow. Anyway, let's talk to him. Aw, oh, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the proving. What a prick. Okay, I pity you. No, I'm gonna say I'm gonna win. He can go fuck himself. Too bad for you that I'm gonna win it then. <laughs> I've trained all my life for this. If I lost to you, I'd make myself an outcast for life. Don't overestimate yourself. You wouldn't last long in the wilds. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah, the look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you going to shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. <laughs> what an arsehole. Jesus, this this game, everyone hates Aloy. Well, not everyone, obviously, but... um. Okay, what do I do? Go to bed. Talk to Vala Optional. Is that you? Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. I like her. She's nice. All right, go to bed. <laughs> okay, we'll do that. So, your first day in Mother's Heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. She's not used to it. Um, I don't know. What do I say? Does Aloy hate it? She does look like she hates it. You know what? Let's, uh, let, let's do too soft. I don't know. Comforts and distractions. That's what I think. Not all comforts are bad. Comforts are weakness. You sound just like my mother. Oh. <laughs> you can always go back to living in the wilds if you have to. In the meantime, get some rest. Okay. Not him. President Obama. <laughs> Braves, ready yourselves. <laughs> what will it take to get you out of here? All right. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, wait, uh, notebook. What is this? Razor, okay. 
All right, generally flees when spooked, but capable of gouge of a gouging attack with its horns before running. Okay, ugh, I don't understand what this means. Oh, blaze can blaze canisters. I can shoot fire arrows at this, guys. Okay, blaze storage canisters. Shooting elemental canisters with elemental ammo triggers an explosion that will damage everything nearby. Shoot off this component to collect the resource inside. Let's do that, guys. Okay, no, don't jump, Jesus. Oh, crap. Oh my god, there's one here, Jesus. Uh, guys, is this working? I don't think it is. Alright, run. <laughs> Get out of here. Did it work? <laughs> oh no, Jesus. Okay, uh, guys, I don't actually know what we're doing. No, get away from me, Jesus. Okay, lo loot your trophy. Okay. Oh, I did it, I think. What the? <laughs> your trophy is shattered, outcast. Looks like you'll need another. Oh, he's such a dick. Oh my god, I really hate him, guys. Okay, what, what do I do? I'm... Loot a second trophy. Oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> okay, one sec, guys. One sec. Oh my god, they're too fast. Jesus. Then again. Oh my god. Okay. Oh god, okay. They're trying to kill me. Okay, one sec. away from me jesus okay we kill no move aloy don't get stuck jesus shit okay loot that real quick and let's get out of here we're gonna die jesus where do i go this way this way okay i need to heal oh my god is he gonna follow me up here um okay i don't know where to go guys just just go this way sorry i'm panicking a bit <laughs> is the outcast coming he was behind me I am strong. Shut up. <laughs> Guys, how are we going to win this? I'm so far behind. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urvala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself! Oh shit. It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! That's it. No way but forward now. Right there. Oh, okay, here, here. Guys, I don't know where I'm going, going exactly, now? but okay, here. Faster. Stop hey. dragging. Gotta keep going. No cast. On the old trail? Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. Are we? The outcast is catching up. How, how do you know that? How do, how do you know I'm here? That is so badass, guys. <laughs> okay, now what? Keep at it. Where? Where am I going? I'm just following that yellow diamond thing, guys. Okay, now what? This way? Hey, look, can you run any bloody slower? Jesus. <laughs> no, she's trying her best. It's not her fault. Guys, please say we're going to win this. All right. God, this guys, I'm just I'm so anxious. <laughs> All right, go, go, go. Come on. Come on, come on, you can make it. Come on, come on, Jesus. Oh no, they're gonna win, guys. Come on. 
Come on, Aloy. Come on. We did it, right? She didn't win. The outcast cheated. Oh, shut the up, Dick. Win the proving? Never. What? Oh, guys. Wow. But she is a brave now. Oh, okay. <laughs> she did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. We did it, guys. <laughs> but it is Aloy. Once outcast. And now brave. Who is first among us. Oh, shit. What the fuck, guys? Aloy! Keep them pinned down. Oh, no. We can't stay here. That's the way out. So we won't make it under fire. They can't shoot if they're dead. Keep them busy. I'll find an angle. Bass! Bass! Are you with us? I'm with you. Let's go. Now. Oh god. Oh god! Oh shit, shit, okay, okay. Um alright. Oh guys are too far. They're too far. We can't win. Oh no! Shit! Oh guys, I got wait, 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 there must be another way. Oh mother help us! I can't see him. Oh, for Christ's sake, guys. For Christ's sakes. Um, Kill the invaders! Okay, okay. Give me a sec. But guys, he's still alive. Kill them! They're just oh, come on. There has to be a better way than this. Come on. We can't stop them. Guys, let me look around. This is, this is bullshit. Wait, what's this? Medicine. Grab it. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, can he loot the thing? God damn it, man. Okay, maybe here. Okay. Crouch. All right, guys, this is better. Wait, 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 wait. Check this out. Check this out. Okay, I hope this works. Please, I hope this works. Can I stealth him? Please say I can. Yes, I can. Check it out. <laughs> yes. Okay. We can't hold them. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, I couldn't attack them from that the the other area, guys, because they just saw me. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Shut up, dude! It's our bast. What a coward. Alright, we did it. Quick! Run for the slip wire! What now? Oh, for fuck's sake, guys! I thought we did it! <laughs> Shit! Kill them all! No oh, no! No survivors! I'm crying out loud. Are you serious? Varley, you need to help me out, man. I can't do this by myself. And Bast. For all mother. Oh, crap. Oh, oh shit. There's more. Oh, oh, God. They keep coming. Shut up. Who is that, man? God damn it. He's still alive? What? Oh, my God, guys. What the hell? Why are you so aggressive? Okay. All right, guys, uh, I don't know what to do. Oh, no! He's right behind me! He's right behind me! Jesus! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Leave me alone! Oh, my God! Oh, that was a headshot. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Bitch. Okay. Oh, how did I miss? How? Kill the invaders! Watch out! There's more of them! Where? 
wait, 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 guys, guys, let me go back to that place. Kill the invaders! Let's try from. Wait, 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 wait. Let's try here again. Oh crap, has he seen me? He see me. Shit, shit, shit. Move. Move. Too many of them. I'm on fire. Why? We can't win. Oh my god, this is guys, this is intense, man. I did not expect I did not expect this at all. Okay, wait, let's get a headshot. How, guys, how is he alive? Oh, okay, not anymore. <laughs> what is that? Desert glass. Oh, oh shit! Oh, shit! Oh. Got you. <laughs> okay, let's grab that, whatever that is. Oh, shit! Oh, no, 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 my friends. My friends are in trouble, guys. <laughs> Too many of them! Oh no, leave me alone, Jesus! God damn it. Will this work? <laughs> You've got one of them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, no, no. This one, this one. God damn it. Kill them! <laughs> Bitch. Okay, now what? Oh, come on. What, there's more? Now, descend while we have a chance. Oh my god, he's got a gun, guys! What the hell? What? Ah! No! Ah! No! Wow! Oh, he died as well. The red hair dies now. Everyone, forward! What? Uh, guys, this is... I, I don't know what to say. This... Oh, Jesus! There's a guy with a machine gun. What do I do? Headshot, please. Guys, he's not going down. Oh, Jesus Christ. Are you kidding me? Guys, he's not dying. I don't know what to do. Shit. Oh, guys, I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Oh, do you see that? Wait, what is this? Oh, I've got his gun, guys! I've got his gun! Shit, shit! Oh my god, I died. Oh my god, guys, I died. I can't believe it. I grabbed his gun and I got shot. <laughs> guys, this mission is intense. It's insane. All right, let's try this again. Oh, I can't believe Vala died. Okay, guys, let's try this. <laughs> I'm going to create a perimeter. Okay. Have I? Guys, I have to be able to... Get out of Shit! Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Let's get rid of him. Oh, damn it. I missed his head. Jesus. Jesus Christ, how much health? Whoa! Whoa! No, 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 no. Okay, good. Okay, he's dead. Wait, wait, go on, guy. The gun, dude. Jesus. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Oh, shit. Who the hell is this? All right, all right. Okay, I need to heal. Uh, guys, he's still alive. I, I don't believe this. Guys, they are doing an insane amount of damage, and I'm not doing anything to them. Wait. 
Wait, he's losing aggro. Shit. Shit. Okay, guys, I'm going to do... Oh, come on, man. Are you serious? Shit. Okay, I just took a full health potion. I hope this helps. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I can't move. Jesus, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just hiding here, guys. I can't see him, to be honest. Oh, for crying out loud. Jesus. Oh, my God. He really moved his head. Okay, good. That was a headshot. <laughs> good. Okay, let's grab his gun. Right, this time. It's a bit slow. Oh, awesome. Wait, wait, wait. I can't see him. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, my God, guys. That's bullshit. Okay. Do I have um something that will protect me? Let me try this. That should give me fire resist. Come on, Aloy. Jesus. Okay, is he dead? Good. No, this ain't working, guys. It's too slow. I can't. I can't use it. Okay, let's heal. Oh my god, this is so intense. All right, it's just one. One left. Let's take care of him. Jeez, I never expected this. Don't move. Stop running, you stupid bastard. Oh my god, guys, that's so annoying. Oh, for Christ's sake. Guys, I need to get closer. Just had you. Alright. Oh, shit, shit. I was going to say, don't turn around, you piece of shit. <laughs> I got it. Please say that's the last one now, please. Oh my god, guys, that was awful, man. Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, so I'm sad about Vala, though. <laughs> I'm not very sad about that freaking bast guy. He kind of deserved it. But anyway. So now what? He's got a focus as well, guys. Shit, man. Uh, behind you, Aloy, behind you. Oh my God, what, what do we do? What do we do? Go on, kick the shits out of him. Oh no. Come on, Rost. Good. Rost, come on, come on. Aloy, help him. Jesus. No! No, guys, no. Oh, no. Burn it all. Then to your task. As you command.
five. No. Oh, guys, that's so fucking sad, man. Wow. Jesus, I don't even know what to say. She is dying. have found me before I bled out. But why is no one here? Where am I? Oh my god, guys. <laughs> wow, that was a lot. Okay, we're going to end it here. I would have continued playing, but I feel so sad about Rost. And um, besides, what an intense episode, man. Um it was also it was kind of awesome, but it was really sad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't know how to feel about it. So Aloy won the proving. But then we got attacked. It's definitely got something to do with that Olin guy. I'm I'm confused. Man, that was a lot though. Jesus. I did not expect that. Um anyway guys, look, we'll leave it there. Um we'll pick this up. It, it looks like it's going into a brand new quest anyway. So, um, yeah, hopefully we'll get more answers and see what happens. But I'm going to leave it there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next part. Take care.